outside in Virginia, PK-52. Hey, it snowed this morning, and we couldn't do the drive here on the launch because we couldn't get the Ford out of the parking lot. So let's talk a second about dynamic torque control and what it would do on a slushy, icy day like this. Later in the week, we're going to Philadelphia, and they got over a foot last night, so we'll be able to try the drive system out. Remember the goal of the Highlander, it's a family vehicle, and families these days really have a, a, a hard time making the budgets work. So we want to get them as good a gas mileage as possible. So this vehicle is trying to be 100% front wheel drive all the time. Power is fed to the back wheels when needed. And what a lot of people don't understand is, is an all wheel drive or a four wheel drive where you have to flip a switch or make a choice means that you're always having to think about what the road condition is and what it is five miles up the road. But this vehicle does it for you. So they set up to a 50-50 split. And I've always said about these drive systems, they're variable drive. So as I accelerate out of this parking lot today, and it's icy, and I get a little slippage from the front wheel, then it can go anywhere from 100 zero all the way to 50-50. And the computer is gonna make the right choice on how much power needs to go to the rear wheels. The second phase of this is when I'm turning the wheel. As I turn the front wheels, the inside wheel always turns slower than the outside wheel. If I add a little power to the rear, I'm pushing myself through the turn instead of having to pull myself with the front wheel drive. So the handling characteristics will be improved as I start feeding a little bit of power to the back. Well, the steering wheel and the wheel RPM sensor would make that realize that I needed some power shifted to the back. So again, aiding and turning. And then I guess the last thing is, is when I want to use the lock mode. Now the lock mode doesn't lock anything. Again, if you think about a true four wheel drive vehicle, if I lock the center differential, then what happens is I control the power split. The lock mode here, what it does is enhance the computer. It adds it, it asks it to be a little bit more aggressive. I can use the lock mode in this vehicle on dry pavement. So if I wanted the fastest getaway possible, I engage the lock mode and it's gonna give me a 50-50 split of power. So equal ration of power to all four wheels. Once I get above 25 miles an hour, then the lock mode disengages and it goes back to the auto, mod, uh, auto mode. Now the, listen, the auto mode is not front wheel drive. I could be turning and I go above 25 miles an hour and it might be 75-25. So it goes back to that dynamic torque control. So what it does is it enhance driving. Let's review again. The first thing is, can I give you money back in your pocket by saving you gas? And can I increase the responsiveness and the dynamics of turning and handling capabilities? And if it's bad weather outside, can I make your family safer? And Highlander does all of that. It's been PK-52 from a freezing day right in Williamsburg, Virginia. See you soon.